So this is Project Lexer 3.5 which is being released for Redmi Note 10 Pro few days back and I am come back for the review of this smooth room that I have given a review of this room last of the last update and you guys loved the, the, that video so far so please this video as much that you have loved that video also so without wasting a further ado let's just see what inside this new so guys this is the about section of the phone you can see that device name is redmi note 10 pro and here's the android 13 is where and you can see that this is the, here you get that officially supported and thanks for zaid khan for maintaining this awesome room and if you click on android 13 you get pretty much impressive good uh, what do you say android 13 easter egg over there and i loved android 13 easter egg so far because it is too much satisfying you got a january 5th security update which is almost a latest update and we is got we are getting alexa version of 3.5 and the kernel version is one tom kernel and we got a seal in status version for sync so device here is mentioned as redmi note 10 pro and the build date is saturday jan 21 now today is jan 24 and i'm just rooting this video so i have what do you say use this room for four days and five days so you will might see this room video on 25th so you can see that above here now let's move forward i want to talk about the smoothness and overall customizations that this room is opting to us now this time we got a quite a smooth smoothness you can see that we on it is on 120 hertz selected and you can see that i'm opening closing any application i'm not getting any stutter lag it is not bit faster but you can see that in the qs you get no lag so far not much options is enabled in a qs but you can see that there is not a much lag and if you those who are asking about the camera application it is a normal camera application you can prefer nx camera over any custom room which is based on android 13. now let's move forward to what do you say if you can see that i also opening a widget over of youtube and you can see that there is no not a single stutter and issue that you can do the section of customizations via settings so i am in the settings option and you can see that is option of essence now i'll be talking about those settings which is new in this room because i have already talked about those settings in the last video so here we got the themes and you got the custom colors and you can select the vivid monet and these were the all things that i have talked so far there is not much new things had been added you can see that as usual same things had made signal icon is also increased by there this is where new things were added so far and it is all as usual apart from that here's the lock screen option you can enable double tap to sleep i haven't faced bug insight in these things and you can see that here's the option of status bar you can arrange your status bar from here you get that reticker and those were the normal settings that you have seen in the last update of 3.4 now talking much more about these quick settings here you get the quick settings not much quick settings option is there but you can see that you can see the data usage over here so you can't get any issues sort of any sort of issues in this now guys if you're really watching this video and you are a redmi note 10 pro or redmi note 10 or any type of tech tips and tricks you want you can subscribe to my channel and if we get if we grow then we should make much more videos that you want i will make that on that now now let's move over to gestures you get the swipe to screenshots over there and touch screen gestures is also been there not much customizations had been added in this update so far now here all comes to miscellaneous you get that advanced restart which is working all around fine you can see that advanced option is there and volume steps is been there this is a new thing that you can see in this you can enable unlock higher fps in games but you can i don't know how to play these games but when i will able to play that i will make sure to make a weed use above that and you get the game space but i don't trust game space nowadays because it is not working fine now i have talked all about this uh, what do you say customizations and smoothness of this room now let's move forward to see what the benchmarks and what the performance that this device is opting to us now let's move forward to see what the benchmark that this ROM is giving to us. So first of all, I would like to talk about the 3D Mark application and those who are asking me about is their optimization profile is working or not. Let me help you. See, this is Slingshot Extreme Test, 
which is uh, you got see that 2699 the score without any performance profile but if you can see above here it is 2688 with optimization profiles of thermal files profiles is on so you can see that uh, if i am using optimization profiles i used to get downside of score so you can see that and this is the screenshot extreme test this is also took by what do you say optimization profile but it is not performing as well as good so this is all for that now let's move forward to uh, see what about the battery charging in that so i have checked all the things and you can see that i have charged 56 minutes and the charging of 33 watt is slow so i am not going to recommend if your main purpose is charging now you can see that i have used for three hours and 53 minutes but there is 20 percent battery drop this is not so cool according to my usage because i did not use device much but is this type of usage i am getting no, not a good battery so those if you want much more battery better battery you can't i can't suggest this room to you all now let's move forward to see Android 2 benchmark this is not taken without any profile mode so this is the genuine score and you can see that 353397 is the score with a 3 degree celsius up and temperature and 3 percent battery drop same to same now let's move forward to talk about uh, what do you say most important those who watches netflix and amazon prime you get that 11 certification and without any issues you can stream that content in the safety net status the safety net is getting passed so you will not getting any issues with the banking application for the device certification i also took that and now let's see about the device certification you can see that this is the overall settings and your device is being certified you can't get any of the issues in this room as you can use the banking apps flawlessly now let's move forward to talk about what we are getting any sort of bug in this and we also we are getting a google camera support in this custom room but that google camera i don't know why getting crashes so you can see that it is not working it is getting crashed now let's move forward to see if there any bug in the I settings so case i haven't faced much of the bugs but there is slightly what do you say network few frequent sometimes call drops i have faced so far so in terms of uh, calling i think it's because of the wi-fi because sometimes wi-fi does not work fine right. and if you connected on the call and you're still using wi-fi calls then it will create a sometime problem but not a huge issues that you can i can report in the display not a single issue that i can see smooth display is you can see that here but i if i generally disable 120 hertz and 60 hertz is jittery and laggy in many of the rooms that have what do you say 120 hertz and 60 hertz both and uh, at that room the 120 and 60 gives what do you say equal type of smoothness so uh, in this room 60 hertz is not performing good lock screen you get that always on display support that is working but my usage doesn't consist of any always on display and this is what you say uh, uh, talk theme and any options that you can see here now uh, apart from battery already talked about this is a new ui of the battery you can see that but i didn't like the battery performance on this room in the sound and vibration you get the main sign answer and haptic feedback is been there also in the apps you get what do you say default apps and in default apps you can see that we are getting quick step launcher i thought that we are getting pixel but in this update we are not getting so far for the security and I have not registered fingerprint in face but I checked through that uh, it is working and much of the time the face unlock is getting struck one thing I want to note that few times it getting struck here's a thermal profiles already talked about that is not working fine it's way badder I don't know why it is happening but it's nowadays it's getting way bad I don't know why this is happening all the time but it is getting way bad that what I think so far and here's a official update of Elixir you can see that here is the uh, what do you say early access option is there and the gestures not much customizations 100 mode is there but you can do according to your uses so guys this is all about the overall look feel UI what I can tell about this room or not now what is that can I recommend this room to you I can recommend but in terms exceptional is the battery charging time and the battery 
the battery charging time is getting too much with the three watt also that uh, battery usage is not so good if you considering a game purpose and in terms of benchmarks and day-to-day -day usage not much heavy usage and you don't need to uh, you need to get the banking apps worked all around but first i want to caution you that if you have much money in your bank account don't use any custom rooms it's so it's my personal suggestion to you all but if you really like then you can custom use custom rooms i who am i to not tell you do not use that and i also ran the geekbench and the geekbench is also performing so far as much as i think is perfect so this is all for the review of this room project alexa 3.5 if you really enjoyed this video and considering a custom rooms in your what do you say live then give a thumbs up to my video and subscribe to my channel for more future contents on any other relevant topics of the tech so my name is ara we'll meet in the next video till then bye bye